Start by unboxing your kit, making sure you have all the parts and hardware listed in your installation instructions. Then, gather these tools. Our systems are designed to fit a range of closet sizes. Compare the width of your wall with the width of the kit you purchased to determine if you need to make your system smaller. To make your kit fit a smaller space, use a circular saw to cut down the shelves of a section that includes hanging or shelf storage. You can keep your solution centered by cutting excess shelving equally from both sides, or align the system to the left or right by cutting from just one side. If you are installing multiple kits in one space, reference your written instructions for optimal layout recommendations. This system relies on the proper installation of a steel rail. Once in place, the rail will run along the entire width of your system, acting as the backbone of the rest of your solution. To begin this important step, determine the proper height to install the rail. To achieve our recommended 84-inch high installation, mark a level line at 75.5 inches from the floor. This line will show you where to rest the bottom edge of your rail. Next, mark each stud location using a stud finder. Referencing your project plan, use masking or painter's tape to mark the location of the vertical panels. If your layout has a vertical panel located more than three inches from a stud, you will need to use a toggle bolt to support that panel. Mark toggle locations directly next to each vertical panel that requires extra support. Review your design to determine the necessary rail length for each wall, and if necessary, cut the rail to the correct length using a hacksaw. To attach the rail to the wall, Level the rail's bottom edge along the marked line. Then, screw the rail into the stud that's nearest to the center of the rail. Drill 1 8 inch pilot holes into each stud location and in the last hole on both ends of the rail. Transfer the previously marked toggle locations to the corresponding holes in the rail. Rotate the rail and drill 1 half inch pilot holes for the toggles. Then, install the toggle channels. Rotate the rail back into position, ensuring that it is level, and mount the rail to the wall with toggle bolts. Finally, secure the rail to the wall, making sure the rail is level. If your layout includes a tower in a corner, assemble the tower unit on the floor by first securing all the fixed shelves to the vertical panels. Then, hang the assembled tower on the rail. To add vertical panels, simply hang each pre-notched panel onto the installed rail at marked locations. Use a level to make sure that the verticals are straight. When adding shelves, start by securing each fixed shelf to two hanging vertical panels. Reference your written instructions for specific screw hole locations. Once all fixed shelves in a section have been secured, Add adjustable shelves by inserting four shelf pins into the pre-drilled holes and placing a shelf on top. Attach cleats to the back of the unit into at least one stud beneath a fixed shelf. If your kit includes corner shelves, hang a vertical panel on the rail and then secure a cleat in the corner, leveling the cleat with the height of the vertical panel. Take the vertical panel off the rail and secure the second and third cleats to the wall directly below the installed cleat. Next, attach a bottom and middle corner shelf to the vertical panels and hang the assembled unit onto the rail. Install offset shelf pins beneath the fixed corner shelves into the cleat. Add shelf pins into the vertical panels and add remaining shelves. Insert each shoe fence into the pre-drilled holes in the shelves using a rubber mallet or hammer. Attach the shelf to the vertical panels by first securing a screw to the back of the shelf. Next, insert shelf pins into the front holes on the verticals, three holes below the back of the shelf. To build a drawer box, apply a small amount of glue to the dowel holes and the three V-shaped grooves that will create the corners of the drawer. Wrap the outside of the drawer around the drawer bottom 
ensuring that all the dowel holes are engaged. Wipe off any excess glue. Once the glue is dry, attach a knob or handle to each drawer front and secure the fronts to the assembled drawer boxes. Next, separate the slide halves and mark the hole locations by pushing the screw gently against the provided template. Attach the smaller slide half to the drawer side at marked locations. Then, attach the other side to the vertical panel and find the holes that align with the pre-drilled holes in the verticals. Slide the drawer into place. To add a hanging rod, start by attaching the rod ends to the rod. On a flat surface, use a 1 8 drill bit to drill a pilot hole through the back side of the rod and rod end. With the drill hold facing the back of the closet, secure the rod ends to the verticals. Then, place the rods into the rod ends, making sure to line up the pilot holes. Attach the rod ends to the rod. Lower the top shelves onto the shelf pins, making a flush and continuous shelf. Congratulations on your newly installed closet! If you run into any questions during installation, our customer service team is happy to help.